Hello everyone, this is Hannah here, and today we're gonna to talk about how to use spreadsheets to deal with a whole bunch of numbers and data all at once very easily. So the first question is, why would I use a spreadsheet like this, like Google Sheets, instead of just doing this work on paper? And the short answer is, spreadsheets are much, much faster if you have a huge amount of data to deal with. So if you found yourself you know, manually calculating your averages and having to say add up every single thing and then dividing by how many things you had, you might not want to include a bunch of data because it'll take you so long to deal with that. But if you have a spreadsheet, then solving 20 problems is as fast as solving one. So what we're gonna do today is first, I wanna tell you a little bit about how spreadsheets work. So I want you to notice that here we have columns and the columns you can see are, say, column A, which has student name in it, column B, which has the distance traveled in meters, column C, which has the time running, column D, which has the time hopping, column E and column F for the velocities running and velocity hopping. Uh, the data in this comes from an activity I did with students a while ago uh, where they went outside and they measured themselves running and they measured themselves hopping and they saw how long it took them to do both those things. So we've got columns, which have letters, A, B, C, D, E, F. We also have rows. Rows are horizontal, and the rows have numbers. So for example, Maya Corbett's name is in row two. Uh, Brody Hames' name is in row 18. So we have letters and numbers. Now, together, those things make a whole bunch of little boxes, and each of these boxes is called a cell, C-E-L-L, -L, like a cell in a living organism would be. So if I click on a cell, like right now, I have clicked on cell E2. You will see this little blue box surrounding it, and that blue box shows which cell I have selected. Now, currently, I have selected cell E2, capital E because it's in column E, and row two because it's in row number two. So each cell has a name. If I click on this cell down here, that is, in, that is cell E11 because it's in column E, row 11. So you can reference and refer to different cells by which column they are and which row they're in. Now, spreadsheets can do calculations. So let's say I am in a situation where I wanted to do a velocity calculation. Well, I could actually use the spreadsheet itself as a calculator. So right there, I have selected cell E2. You'll notice at the very bottom of the page, there's this bit that says enter text or formula at the very, very bottom of the spreadsheet page, that is called your formula bar. And if I click on that, I can actually input a formula. Now, whenever you wanna do a formula, you're always gonna start it with an equal sign. And what this says is the number in this cell is going to be equal to whatever I type in here. So let's say I wanted to do a math problem with Maya Corbett, where she ran 9.63 meters and it took her 2.8 seconds. I could type in, you know, cell E2, which is the one I have highlighted, is equal to, you can see we have an equal sign here, 9.63 divided by, you can see there's a, right above my keyboard here a series of useful symbols. So for division, you want to use that slash. So divided by 2.8. And then I could hit return and it would do that math for me. So it can act just as a regular calculator. Now that's nice, but it's not actually any faster than using a calculator. So here's where this gets extra cool. Instead of having to individually type in the numbers, I can refer to the individual cells. So I can say is equal to, and then I can tap on Maya's distance traveled. So I tapped on cell B2, and you can see when I did that, B2 appeared in the box. Um, you also could just type B2 divided by, so again, I'm gonna use that slash. So B2 divided by, and I'm gonna tap on cell C2, which was her time running. You can see that it's sort of highlighted cell B2 in green and cell C2 in red. So you can tell those are the two cells that it is doing math with. Now, if I hit return, again, it does that math problem for me. It tells me that 9.63 divided by 2.8 is equal to 3.44. So that's pretty cool and it is faster. Um, but here's what makes this really, really awesome. The cool thing about spreadsheets is that you can actually copy and paste a formula. 
because what I've really done here in this cell is I haven't said, you know, cell B2 divided by cell C2. I've said, take the number three to the left of me and divide by the number two to the left of me. And I can actually copy and paste that formula and it'll know which cells to refer to. And this can make it very fast to do a whole bunch of different calculations. So to copy a formula in a spreadsheet, what I need to do is first make sure that I have, oops, I just made a, there we go. So first I would make sure that I have the cell selected. So I'm gonna click on the formula that I wanna copy so I can tell it's selected because it has that blue box around it. Then I'm gonna click on that box again a second time. Oops, hold on. I need to make sure that I'm out of the formula bar. So let me close my keyboard. So I've got it selected. I click on it a second time and it brings up this black bar full of options. Cut, copy, paste, comment, clear, note. So the ones here that are gonna be most important for you are copy, paste, and clear. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit copy and now it has basically said okay whenever you paste this I'm going to do that same formula. So now I'm going to click on the next cell so that was just a single click uh, and I'm going to click again to bring up that menu and I'm going to say paste and now you can see oh I have a calculation here 4.17 meters per second well that happens to be what Nava's distance traveled divided by her time running will give you the answer of. So I've got 4.17 here as my answer. Now that's nice. It's a little bit faster than using a calculator, but here's where it gets extra awesome. So I'm gonna copy that first cell again. So I clicked on it once in order to highlight that cell. You can tell it's highlighted because it's got a blue box around it. Then I'm gonna click again and select copy. So now I've copied this cell. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this whole column. Now the way to do that, to highlight a whole bunch of things, is you see that little circle in the bottom right-hand corner of the blue box for cell E2? I'm gonna click exactly on that little circle. I'm gonna hold my finger down and I'm gonna drag that all the way down to Brody's time. So when I do that, I've highlighted all these cells. Now I'm gonna click again to bring up that black box and I'm gonna say, oh, why don't you paste that formula into all of these? And when I do that, it just went ahead and it calculated every single velocity for all of these kids running. So that was 18 velocity problems in a second. You can do this, so let's just show that one more time. Let's say I wanna calculate the velocity hopping for Maya so I know that velocity is distance divided by time. So I'm gonna sort of double click in that box to bring up my keyboard. And I'm gonna say equals, you always start a formula with an equal sign. So velocity is distance divided by time. So first I'm gonna click the cell that has her distance, that happens to be cell B2. Then I'm gonna click the division bar, which is that slash divided by now I want the time it took her to hop, so that's in cell D2. I could also have just typed D2, that would work too. I'm gonna hit return to put that in and close out my keyboard. So I've got her velocity hopping is 2.14 meters per second. So every second that goes by, she's traveling about two meters. That's a lot slower than the 3.4 meters per second she travels when running. So now let's copy that. So I've clicked once on that cell so that it's selected click again to bring up that black bar and select copy. Now I'm gonna highlight this whole column. So the way I highlight is I click on that blue circle and drag down. So I've got everything highlighted. I click anywhere inside that blue highlighted box to bring up the bar. I select paste and I have pasted that formula down. So now I have, oops, looks like I missed one box. Let me do that again. One moment, so drag that all the way down this time, and paste. So now we've got the velocities hopping for all these kids. So I've just done 36 velocity problems and it took me almost no time at all. So spreadsheets are amazing if you want to do a whole bunch of math really, really fast. The last thing I wanna show you is how to calculate an average. 
Because you see, some of these formulas, like some common mathematical formulas are actually built into spreadsheets. So let's say I click on this box right here. It, you'll notice at the bottom of the page, there's that formula bar. So I'm gonna click on that formula bar and I'm gonna type equals average. And you see, once I start typing, it'll actually appear equals average. And then I just highlight everything I wanna average. So I'm gonna start here and go all the way up to include all the students. You can see that they are highlighted. And I did the same thing. You know, I clicked on that corner and I dragged. And then I'm going to hit return, and it will tell me the average of cell B2 through B18. So that's starting at cell B2, including B3, B4, B5, and so on, all the way to B18. By the way, if it's hard for you to click and drag, you also could type this. So to type B2 through B18, you use a colon, that dot dot, for the word through. I hit return, and if I look at that box, you can see I have the average. Right there is my average for B2 through B18, 8.6. I could do the same thing. So most students traveled 8.6 meters. I could calculate the average time that most students took to run. So I could click in this box and I could say equals average and then this time why don't I type it uh, I know that my first cell is cell C2 Oops. C2 and I want to go through so I'll need a colon cell C18 so C18 and then when I hit return it gives me that but you could also just copy this formula across because everything here is going gonna, is gonna to be the average of the 18 numbers above it. So I could just close out my uh, keyboard, click on a box here, click a second time to bring up that black bar, copy it, grab that little blue dot to highlight across the row, click anywhere, paste, and there's the averages for every single number. This is how you manipulate uh, a spreadsheet to do a whole bunch of math very quickly, and I hope that that was helpful for y'all.